Hi, Phil. Hi, how are you? Not too good. I've been promiscuous and I haven't always been using a condom. Okay. How do I know if I have an STD? Well, um, usually there'd be some symptoms, uh, potentially, so any sort of bump. Is anxiety one of those symptoms? You're anxious? Yeah. All right. I'm anxious to know whether or not my penis is going to fall off. Along with being anxious, any bumps, redness, itchiness, discharge, hurt when you pee, you testicles mean hurt when swollen. I pee? Like when you pee, does it burn? I'm not going to touch my urine to see if it's hot. Do you feel like it's burning when you are peeing? Oh, did, oh, sorry, do I feel like my penis yeah, is Yeah, like when you are peeing. I know, not as of yet, but it's always kind of hot, not Would burns. Would you say that it hurts? No. Okay. This is pretty private. How do you talk to people and make them comfortable? The fact that we're an STD clinic puts people at ease that they know that we deal with this, this a lot, and you know, there's a waiting room full of people that are obviously there for the same reason, so it lets people know they're not alone. Is the STD clinic waiting room the best place to pick up chicks? I would say probably not. But you'd think that you've already got something in common, right? Right, that is true. I think most people at the STD drop-in clinic have maybe other things on their mind. Right. They might not be up for the, the flirt. Can you get an STD from a toilet seat? Um, from sitting on a toilet seat, no. Okay, what about eating off a toilet seat? Uh, there's only one I could think of. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called hepatitis A. Yeah. Uh, it's normally transmitted by fecal oral contact, which means if people's feces comes in contact with your mouth. So that could be if you're having sex with someone and your mouth comes in contact with their anus. But for the viewers who are not German, how would that happen? Um, well, if uh, you were putting your mouth in contact with someone's anus and <laughs> okay. that got on your mouth. Yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. When it comes to crabs and scabies, mm -hmm. would you suggest sitting out in the sun, nude, and using a magnifying glass to burn them off? Um, I would say no. The likes of burning yourself are pretty high, True. and actually getting all the scabies and crabs would probably be pretty hard. Scabies are microscopic, so you'd just be... You, you'd bur be burning at random. Yeah. We have more effective treatments for them than the, the magnifying glass. So science has moved well past that idea. Well beyond the magnifying glass. Yeah. AIDS. Mm -hmm. Does it exist? Really? Yes, it does. And that's information television. HIV. Mm -hmm. AIDS, mm -hmm. which one's better? Um, HIV is actually a virus that, that can lead to AIDS. So you want that one? Um, I don't know if it's a question of wanting either. Both are very serious conditions, definitely. Uh, they probably shouldn't be joked about. Probably not. Right. Yeah. Can I tell you one joke about HIV? Insensitive, might be a little insensitive. What about two jokes? Two jokes would be more insensitive. I know these STDs by name, but I feel like I need to put a face to them. Do you have any pictures you can show me? I might have some around here. Uh, unfortunately, everyone that you come in contact with might not be showing symptoms, but if they were, um, this is chlamydia. This is herpes. Uh, this is what syphilis would look like. And uh, this is gonorrhea. Well, I should probably get tested for an STD. Thanks, Phil. No problem. Is this your family? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. It's a terrible episode for Bring Your Son to Work Day. Dad, is that the guy you hate? 